Okay, let's uh, work out some examples so we can uh, become familiar uh, with the operations uh, that involve uh, distributions. So we have seen that uh, given a function f that is locally integrable, we can define a regular distribution as the functional tf of phi given as the scalar product between the function f and the test function itself. And uh, we also saw that uh, we can compute the, the derivative of, uh, this, uh, of um, the distribution f. And using integration by parts, we show that this is equal to f comma phi prime. Not only that, but we also show that if we have the product of two regular uh, distributions, we can bring uh, any of the two functions, as long as they're regular, on the other side of the, the size of the test, the side of the test functions, and write it as plus uh, f comma g times phi. Okay, and we show this for regular functions or regular distributions. Then we say that uh, the same is also true. We also use uh, these two We also use these two results as a definition for uh, the derivative of a singular distribution and the product uh, of a regular distribution and a singular distribution, okay? So also for, uh, so this is also, this definition becomes a definition for singular distribution. Distribution, well, let's say for any distribution. And regarding this, uh, this product, um, this is also true as long as uh, at least one function, one distribution is regular. So I can do, for example, uh, u times delta. This is okay. But if I try to do delta times delta, this is not okay. And uh, and you're gonna see now the that's uh, something that you know you have to keep in mind. Then you know, based on this definition that now are general for any distribution, we define the delta function as the distribution which returns the value of the test function as zero. And then, using uh, this definition, we can define the delta prime derivative, the delta prime uh, Dirac, the derivative of a Dirac function, equal to minus phi prime at zero. And then, we show the localization property, localization properties of, uh, we show the localization properties of uh, Dirac distributions. What do we show? We show that, you know, we can, the multiplication f of t times delta t, which is well defined, is equal to, to what? To f at zero times delta t. But we can also do f of t times delta prime. And this is equal to what? To f of zero delta prime t. And then we also get an extra term the derivative of the function f at 0 times delta t. Okay? And these are important, especially the second one, in order to compute uh, derivatives of uh, distribution. Are, you gonna s uh, are we going to see now with an example? And uh, let's consider the, um, an example. Let's try to do a derivative of f of t equal e to the minus t times ut. Formally, we know what is this guy, basically. What is this function? Is um, is an exponential function. This is one e to the minus t u t, and uh, formally, now we can try to do the derivative. We know already that this derivative is going to be equal to what? It's going to be equal to minus e to the minus t. I take the derivative of e to the minus t 
times ut plus e to the minus t times the u dt. But now I know that uh, this, we show that is equal to the Dirac delta function. So I get minus e to the minus t ut plus e to the minus t times delta t. Okay? But now I can use the localization property of the delta that I showed you before. So this is equal to e to the at zero times delta t. But this is basically equal to one times delta t. So I get delta t minus e to the minus t ut. So by these formal calculations, we show that the derivative is equal to delta t minus e to the minus t ut. Let's see if we can derive the same results using distributions. I already know what is the distribution associated with f. It's going to be f, comma, phi, equal integral to minus infinity to infinity, e to the minus t ut times the test function in delta t. But now we know that uh, the step function is only equal to 1 in 0 and infinity. So this integral is equal 0 to infinity of e to the minus t, 15 delta t. So actually, I have uh, the definition of uh, my of the function f as a distribution is equal to this integral of the test function. Okay, so this function f is as the correspondent uh, distribution, which is this defined using this integral. Now let's uh, compute the first derivative f prime of phi. We know that by definition that this is equal to minus f comma test function prime. This is by definition. Let's uh, rewrite this integral is equal to minus integral between minus infinity and infinity. What is the function f? The function f is simply e to the minus t ut phi prime of t in delta t. But this is equal to what? This is always equal to 1 on uh, the interval 0 to infinity, and so I have minus integral 0 to infinity of uh, e to the minus t phi prime of t in delta t. And again, now we, we see that we have uh, first the derivatives inside an integral. That's a signal to do integration by parts. Is right? So let's do it. So we have uh, minus, open parenthesis, the antiderivative is phi t multiplied by e to the minus t. And this has to be computed between 0 and infinity. Minus integral between 0 and infinity of uh, phi t, the antiderivative of this, times the derivative of this guy, which is going to be equal minus e to the minus t in delta t. And uh, this guy is equal to what? So this is going to uh, give, give me, it's going to give me minus phi at infinity e to the minus infinity minus and minus plus phi at zero times one. Then I have minus and minus plus uh, with the minus 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 integral zero to infinity e to the minus t phi t in delta t. Now, because the test function is only defined on a compact support, this guy is equal to zero. And uh, the final result is going to be what? It's going to be equal it's going to be equal to phi zero minus integral zero to infinity e to the minus t phi t in delta t. So basically we have these results f prime of phi is equal to this distribution. And actually let me redo the calculus, uh, summarize the results in this uh, small piece of paper. We show that uh, f prime comma phi is equal to phi zero plus minus integral 0 to infinity of e to the minus t 
50 and delta t. That's what we prove. But now, is, uh, I know that uh, this is the distribution of a delta. So I have that f prime comma phi is equal to delta comma phi minus, what is the distribution? This distribution is the distribution of my original function. So this is equal to f comma phi. But this simply tells me that uh, f prime is equal to delta minus f. But we need to be careful. f times what? This uh, function f is simply uh, ut e to the minus t. That's where we start from. And basically, you now we show the relation with the derivative. Okay?